Welcome to your messages. Today I was doing a reading and I wasn't sure if it was just for me or for everyone, but now I really want to share it because the card that fell out in one of my favorite decks is Grace. And today's A Course in Miracles lesson talks about grace. And it talked about it yesterday as well. So the message coming through, um, and I pulled all the cards. So you've got this hanged man twice. And you've got the Ten of Cups twice. <laughs> so that's the first message I want to talk about. And it's that hanged man is asking for a different view or actually asking for vision. The vision that sees only God, only goodness the vision and the state of mind God is. And that is the mind being lit up where no longer there's a person that is interpreting the world, but instead the spirit is now able to come through that channel so that everything the channel or person sees is God. So God is a state of mind. Heaven is a state of mind. And by grace, this state of mind is allowed. It's not forced. And it's a lifetime of letting go of resistance to what is. So... It's a practice of watching the mind and really being present with any feeling that comes up that's not peaceful. So fear, um, annoyance, irritation, hatred, anger, sadness, doubt, loneliness, all of those emotions that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis um, are now being questioned, is this so? Is this real? Is this the state of mind that I am bound to, stuck with? Am I stuck at all? Can I change my mind? And also, you know, other cards that came out are letting me know, again, another major arcana, and which is also the hangman, which is the hangman is just asking for an interpretation that is from the creator, from a higher place of mind where you're not just saying, oh, that's an asshole, that's a chair, that's a jerk, that's my mother. You know, it's almost like taking a look at everything that comes in front of you and saying, oh, like you've never seen it before. Like there's no past at all and you're open to be given an interpretation. Therefore, you can see beyond your brother and sister's bodies and reactions and just offer them the space of non-judgment and then allow the spirit to give you what to do. Maybe you're to say nothing, but that's what's going to bring in this Ten of Cups, this joy, this perception that there is only God, that there's only love, that, that even in the face of um, a disappointment or judgment from a seeming person outside yourself, you can be in calm a state of grace, actually, a state of grace. And no matter what the mind is saying that's not peaceful or good or God, like you can't do this or, you know, these people are against you, it can't be. And you're asking to be shown by this hanged man that you got twice. So that really these cards are telling me that whoever showed up here today is seeking God, is seeking the light in their mind. And we all know that when you ask for, say, patience, God doesn't just give you a bunch of warm, fuzzy feelings. God gives you opportunities for patience. So if you're asking to see only love, <laughs> 
wow, I mean, you're going to have to see and release and forgive everything you believe in that's not love. And this process takes a lifetime, but these, the messages that are coming in right now is that you can have this state of mind right now if you practice it in every moment. Because you have asked, because you have prayed, you are receiving from God the opportunities to heal these beliefs that there is something other than love. There, there are also beliefs that someone outside of you, someone outside of the mind can cause suffering or, or disappointment or hurt. And the message wanting to come through is that it's only your perception that is seeing attack and that there is a state of mind that you can come into that sees only forgiveness and doesn't take things personally can you know even if it's saying this person must be going through something really hard for them to be acting like this or just seeing the projection and where I've felt the same way in the person that's sitting across from me and how can I you know give compassion or just hold that space of non-judgment and ask the spirit to give me my next step you have these, um, oh, that's a queen. You have a page, so you have a message coming in the mind to help you navigate through these new changes in the world. You have the queen of wands, which is saying that, you know, you have full desire right now in your heart to be happy, to heal, you know, the beliefs that are taking the mind down. So there, you know, where your heart is, your treasure lies. So they're just saying that you have the ability and the passion and the excitement and the, the desire to have this 10 of cups that we see twice in this reading. The major arcana of the magician was clarified by this two of swords. So the two of swords says that, I mean, this is an interpretation that I'm getting that she is saying to herself, it's only this or that. She's going inside and saying there's a solution, this or that. But what this card is saying is that there's a whole nother solution. There's an island in the back of her that she doesn't see. So she doesn't know the whole picture and she is being asked to let go of her interpretation of what might solve these problems or whatever she's facing and to let a new option be given to her. One is one that is not of her. One is that of the spirit. And that's how you'll be co-creating with the spirit. That's the magician. You can manifest anything because you're not doing it. You're literally going inside blindfolded you have no idea what direction to go to not this sword not that sword there's an island in the back meaning there's another solution that you don't have that you can't see that you don't know yet that the spirit wants to bring in because really if we we let our solving intellectual mind solve all these deep questions then we are limiting ourselves and the spirit, the whole universe is here to say, I'm working for you, not against you. Everything is working in your favor. All things work together for good. Let me show you another way to look at the world so that you have all your cups filled. Dreams come true. This is the nine of cups, a wish come true. And you have the ten of cups twice. So that's just saying you're, you're so close <laughs> to this idea you have of allowing only good slash God to be seen and heard and felt and lived by you, through you, given and received as one. So, you know, there's all signs point to a very sturdy foundation, a very consistent um, work being put into a consistent state of mind. And yet, the more determined we get, 
the more seeming challenges will show up because that's how we learn by contrast and we can't heal anything if we don't know it's there so we're, we're praying for this beautiful state of mind so we're having to see everything that's not that see it hand it over to the spirit and let it go so that it can be given open state of mind open-mindedness grace will dawn upon the mind the word of god is made manifest in you those are the messages i have for you i'll see you next time